You wanna play some games? What kind of games? Fucking board games! Yeah! yeah! Zombicide. We have not played Zombicide. But that is what we're playing today. This is a cooperative board game for anywhere from one to six players, and your objective is just to survive against the hordes and, and hordes and hordes of zombies. Grab the fat guys. And the fat guys. And Doug died, so he's a zombie too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if I don't even know if we're gonna play as Doug. Yeah. We've got six characters to choose from, and we've got a special guest, Gregory, today, so each of us gets one character. Mm-hmm. So, I actually uh, do call dibs on Doug. <laughs> so, so I don't like your foreshadowing. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see how the game works and then play the game, shall we? Okay. All right. I'm going to explain one basic round of Zombie Side. Now let's say that our first three characters have already had their turn, and it's Wanda's turn. She's the last character to go before the zombies. So I have a crowbar and a shotgun. Now we've got a runner here. Runners are quite possibly the most dangerous zombies in the entire game. They get two actions, all the other ones only get one action. So, I've got a shotgun, which allows me to roll two dice to try and kill the runner. I roll two dice, and I get a five. I need a four or more to hit with the shotgun. Runner's dead. So, I'm going to run in here, but oh wait, there's another zombie inside waiting for me that my other crew couldn't mop up. So it's up to me to finish it off. I've only got one move left. So with the crowbar, I'm going to attack with a melee weapon. Now this is just an example. Honestly, I would use the shotgun again. I missed with the crowbar, which means that that zombie survives and I'm stuck in the room with the zombie. Now, all four of the players have gone. It's the zombie's turn. First, the zombie's going to attack. Well, since I'm in the room here, I automatically sustain a wound. I take a wound card, I lose one of my items, but since the zombie attacked me, it jostles me and hurts me, and I drop one of my items, I'm gonna drop the crowbar. Now, the zombies get to move. Now, I got to kill that runner, so the runner would have gotten to move two spaces, but all these other zombies are going to move towards where I fired the shotgun, which is right here to represent a noise token, which means all these zombies are going to merge into one big zombie group. And then this runner who is over here gets to move two spaces and also joins this giant zombie group. Um, now we have to spawn new zombies at our zombie spawn point. Some games may have four spawn points. And we spawn based on our danger level. We're still in the blue level. And I spawn one walker. So I take another walker and place it there. And that is a full round of zombie side. You fellas ready to shoot some zombies? Show sure enough! Let's do this. Hi, my name is Gregory Hewitt. I'm a special effects makeup artist. And I have been invited over here to play the zombie game with Mr. Josh and the crew, and it's called Zombie Side. So let's see how well I do. A2, roundabout. Ned thinks his bunker key might be in his old friend's home. Ned spent the night before the zombie invasion with his buddy playing an MMORPG and eating pizza, cold pizza. Ned used to have an exciting life. The house is on an ugly street, with the traffic circle as its only point of interest. It's packed with cars and, of course, their ex-drivers. The vehicles ran out of gas, and these guys just stayed there because they didn't want to abandon their cars. We don't really care about Ned's keys, but key, but he won't stop complaining until we search this place. Under other circumstances, I might find this funny. Where's the key? I thought you had it. Take all three objective tokens. The key could be under either one. Well, actually it isn't, but you must check. Once you've taken all the objectives, get all starting survivors to the exit zone. Uh, well, being crazy Ned, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys, uh, y'all look at the building in this right here, left here, I don't quite know my directions, 
And I'm going to go up here. Ever since the government took my inner ear. And shoot some zombies. <laughs> All right, you get into, some oh zambies. my god, why? Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so I'm going that. to shoot one. Kill one. Damn, and that's one ice. noise token. That's a noise token. And uh, I'll shoot the other one. You got it. Sweet. And another noise token. And another experience. You know what? I think I'm going to give... Give, give, him, him, give him the crowbar. Yeah, yeah give you want to keep the fire axe. There we go. All right, now. He so does, does that count as one action? That's one action. Okay. He Two busts action. the door down. Okay. Adam turns it back around so he's less annoyed. And... It's my OCD. Then I can that creates a noise token. So, first room. First room will have... Two zombies. Two walkers? Two walkers. At least two walkers. The next room... Oh my god, two walkers. Yeah. Next room has two walkers. Room three. Room three has one walker. One walker. Ooh, and objective room. And the objective room has a walker. Damn. Beginning to learn what this word spawning means now. Yeah. It's like gremlins. Josh, I don't want to wait for you to use your gun. Okay, so you're gonna bust just, in there? Yes, yeah, so I'm if, just gonna if, walk if in there. If you bust in there, I'll have to use my frying pan, which that's fine. C'est la guerre. <laughs> you got a frying pan and a crowbar. You can make noise. <laughs> <laughs> you are you. Uh, uh, other guy, Doug. Yeah. Walk it in. Come in. in. <laughs> All right, so. I got one. All right, he got one. Do zombies do automatic damage? They do. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. All right, uh, move my character in there. I will use the frying pan. boy. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not going to hit with a frying pan. I, I don't want us <laughs> to take a wound. We're going to take a wound because you're going to miss. Missed. I have no faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> you walked in there. Fuck. You wouldn't have hit if it was a pistol anyway. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> and then they would be in the street. All right, um... Which one of us is taking the wound? Oh man, I thought I think it's Big Hero over here. I, I, I think. I think he's... <laughs> Fine, I'll take the wound. Mr. Whatever, Mister Impatient. I'm gonna show you how to fight with a wound. Just drag that leg right in with you. Are you, are you dropping the pan? Oh, or the chick stick scars. Yeah, drop the freaking pan. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna try to kill some zombies. Well, yeah, one more prep. Two actions. Nope. Oh. Way right. to give the girl the axe. I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can move into the room. I could move into the room and just leave you guys. Does that badge on your chest not mean anything anymore? Nope, move me into the room. You're a like shit. <laughs> That ends. That that guarantees that one of them will die. So I just have to sit here for an hour and a half. Let's go. Okay. I'll take another wound. Ah! All right, you die, man. Throw my crowbar up. Ah! 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 Zombies move. Ah! <laughs> Camera monkey. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do another search. Okay. Plenty of ammo, as long as your cards in your inventory may oh. re-roll all ranged uh, actions once the pistols, evil twins, or rifle. The new result takes place. What's your turn? What you gonna do, Sheriff Bok Bok? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, move into the same room with them. Those zombies split. Yep. And then, oh my god, those zombies pile into the room. So what we need to do is go that way. Yes, we need to go that way. I think Doug's country's ki country kitchen is closed at this point. <laughs> Holy crap. Now the zombies turn, I, with Ma's shotgun, and with a machete attached to it, failed to uh, kill this one runner right here. And 
because I'm already wounded, I will take the wound, the final wound, and that runner will now tear my body apart. Gregory had to leave because he had to go do special effects, and so now Christopher is going to continue as Wanda. Moi? Camera monkey? <laughs> oh man, I should have been paying attention. <laughs> so what does Wanda do? Welcome back to the game. Ah. It's just the two of you now. Yeah. And now I can be the camera monkey. Alright, whose turn is it? Oh, it's Adam. It is mine. Shit. Okay. Why don't you just waste everything over there because you can kill it all. I could attack one zombie right here. Free combat. There we go. There we go. Okay. So then you will move here? One, two, three, uh, four to get into there. Uh -huh. Do I want to leave that for you, though? Um, that would actually put me in orange, which would give me slippery. Yeah. I'll just what? use my free search action to not pick up that objective. <laughs> oh, man. What if, wait. Okay, I got... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. He found an ah card. Uh... <laughs> and I can't use my free combat. <laughs> Because <laughs> we already used that side. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Go one, two. I guess I could go in there. And pick up the objective. You have to kill the zombie before you can pick it up. Or should I come in here? I can kill this guy. And if I kill him, then I can pick up the objective. Go for the objective because you yeah. level up. Leveling up should heal you. Nope. It's the apocalypse. God is dead. Three. Chainsaw to the police car. <laughs> or I can just honk the horn three times. But either way, now it's the zombies' turn. They all head towards the noise. Boom. Holy mother boom. <laughs> Holy mother boom. I hope all Oh walkers, my god, they all are. I hope walkers all get an extra action. We find a Molotov and she's just shit. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and spawn. Uh, two runners. Two runners. What if I do your free combat? Free action? combat! One, action. two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, you got it. And now you just four move actions. One, two, three, four. Okay. You were at the end. Now you can just skate over there. One, two, two, three. Exit. Stage clear. Two fatalities. <laughs> Kills. Favorite weapon. Ned. No, favorite weapon is Ned, not. <laughs> Not sawed off shotguns. <laughs> Ned is the weapon. The, you know what? I'm just going to save my comments. You go, Adam. <laughs> because everything just worked out aces for you. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it felt like... Did. Uh, I'm sorry? So of course you did. Of course I did. It felt a lot like uh, Left 4 Dead as a board game. If mm -hmm. anybody is uh, a fan of Left 4 Dead, you should definitely go out, buy this game, at least play it. Yep. Uh if if you do, I recommend Ned. He rocks. He's the bomb. And uh, this game, it, it's like you know, if you've got your zombie video games and you just you just get that urge. You're like, man, I just want to blast some zombies. Mm -hmm. This this fills that urge. It just it's one of those guilty pleasures where you get to be the survivors facing outrageous numbers of zombies. But if you get the right weapons, you can mow through those guys like. A hot knife through butter. Yeah. yeah, if you get the right weapons. Weapons. Or or if you get stuck with a frying pan and maybe a crowbar and your actual key ability for your character is to be able to dual wield things. Um, there are no fault of his own. And you know what? I'm glad, I'm glad you died, but not soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's rate this game on our three scales of ease of use, replay value, and overall fun. The thing is, when I explained to these guys, it was a pretty simple thing to understand. I had all the rules, for the most part, well memorized. But the thing is, you've got to read this entire book, almost, to learn all the rules. And sometimes you might even have to play a scenario by yourself or with a couple of friends just to fully understand all the rules that are in this book. Um, it also takes 
probably 20 minutes from the moment you open the box just to set up one scenario. Uh, because there's so many different moving pieces and you've got to shuffle a couple different decks. So uh, for ease of use, um, I would say it is a probably a six. It was about the same difficulty for me to learn as say uh, Betrayal. Uh, but with that difficulty comes a very dynamic game and one that I think is uh, a lot of fun. Oh, oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Christopher, the other half of Fail Road Express. Um, we just finished playing Zombicide. A pretty fun game. And I'm going to actually go right on a limb here and say that I give it a 9 for replayability. And I'll tell you why. It's because of all the different scenarios. We did a review of Castle Ravenloft in which the manual had about 10 different scenarios plus a tutorial. This does the same thing. It's very reminiscent of it. Uh, the tutorial, about four people, 20 minutes, and have about 10 static missions. Now, of course, you can make your own, but why do that when other people have done the work for you? Oh my god, go to zombicide.com and you can get dozens, I'm pretty sure dozens, yeah, dozens, of new scenarios. Like, hey, go get a thing. Go lose a thing. Go go f kill a bunch of zombies like hey all these different options and opportunities and they also vary wildly i might add in their difficulty so we had two tiles for 20 minutes in our tutorial this was three tiles uh for 90 minutes which by the way took almost two hours thanks to adam but You've got some that are 190 minutes, six tiles, or like three by three, so nine tiles total, or another one that's a city, six by eight. Oh my god, it's days on end, but it's days of fun, days of zombies, day Z, that's a different game. But seriously, you have every opportunity to just have as much fun with this game every time you play. It doesn't get stale, it doesn't get old. Just set some time aside, because the mission might run a little long if... Some people are a little slow to warm, Adam. They, uh, they just don't pick up on it as fast. But that's why we're here, uh, to help you help your friends. So, a nine. Uh, just walking down the street. Oh my god, zombies! Blow them up! Blow up! John, what are you doing there? You shouldn't have been there. Oh well, I, he's dead. Uh, oh, uh, the game is fun. It's homicide. Give it an eight out of ten. It's very fun to blow up the zombies, especially if you got double shotguns. Makes it really easy. Uh, basically, just go out and have a good time killing the dead. Because they're already dead, so you won't go in, in, in Phil's police car. Am I allowed to use big words again? Yeah, you're allowed to use You've big words again. You've never not been allowed. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so there's our scores for Zombie Side, a uh, zombie blasting good time. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free if you've played this game before to leave your own scores of ease of use, replay value, and overall fun in the comments below. Uh, we've got links to uh, Gregory's Facebook page if you want to. I mean, YouTube page if you want to check those out. It also has that information on his Facebook. I'm sure he's a very talented artist. Definitely check him out. Yeah. And thanks to him. Yeah, so um, here's some more videos. There's one here, and yeah. there's one here, and there's one right here in front of Adam's big stupid face. It's the biggest video on this screen right now. Also, check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Tweet, Hashtag tweet. Hashtag tweet, tweet. And Fail Road Express. If you hashtag tweet, tweet, it'll get you nowhere. At least not with us. Do you need a text I got Doug. I got, I got Doug killed. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst law enforcement. I have nothing positive to say. You remind me of Rick from Walking Dead, <laughs> who shot his best friend. Or, or would it be him who was plotting to kill him anyway and was going crazy and like, we should kill everybody, get the flag back. Get the flag back. Red versus blue.